Hey guys, I'm Sarika and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. So today I'm back with another new video and we are going to cover all the UK related latest news. So UK is buzzing now. There's so many news either related to the resignation of the ministers or the mini budget or about uh, immigration changes and there are many more. The time had come for damage control and on Friday Liz Truss sacked Kwasi Kwarteng. As the favorite to replace the British Prime Minister Liz Truss, Boris Johnson. Tax cut, gone. Corporation tax cut, gone. 20p tax cut, gone. Two-year energy freeze, gone. The majority of Conservative Party members say the former Prime Minister would be a good replacement for Liz Truss. So if you want to know all the news, make sure you stay with me till the end of the video because I've compiled all the news in a very short time and we'll go through it on a high level. So let's get started. So first I'll start with the changes in the Liz Truss team and other immigration changes which are effective from 18th of October 2022 and the uh, latest update on visa processing timeline. So the latest update from 19th of October is that Home Secretary Sula Braverman, she resigned today because she had used her personal email ID to send some confidential document to the cabinet officer, which was against the law and hence she resigned it. Her whole resignation letter is on Twitter. If you want to go and read, you can check what she has written. And now, so we have a new Home Secretary and his name is Grant Shapps. This is the letter on the Twitter, which you can uh, go through and read it. Now, the last week's news was that, I'm not sure if you guys are following, but our finance minister or chancellor who was Kwasi was fired by Liz Truss and the new person who was appointed on, on his behalf was Jeremy Hunt. So when he took the role, he started making the changes and the biggest news that he announced was most of the stuffs which were announced as part of the mini budget will be scrapped. In fact, the highlight was the cost of energy, which was supposed to be 2500 for the next two years now is only for six months, which means it's going to last only till April. There was also a penny cut, which was supposed to start from April is now cut to 20p and it will stay till 20p till further announcement. And there are other changes as well, which he is scrapping. So if you want to know more details about the mini budget, so BBC article had published this article here, which talks about what was in the previous budget, what is being scrapped and which is being retained. So the corporation tax, it's cancelling rise from 19% to 25%. This is scrapped. Income tax, removal of 45% top rate for High earners is scrapped. Income tax cutting basic rate by 1p to 19p. This is also scrapped. And alcohol duty freezing rates. This is scrapped. VAT tax free shopping for non UK visitor. This is also scrapped. Now, what is being kept is the national insurance reversing 1.2.5% rise, stamp duty, and also first time buyers. Now, let's talk about the other immigration changes which are effective from 18th of October 2022. So, there are quite a lot of changes, and there's a 16 page document on the Home Office website. And uh, this is the one which I'm talking about. But all this 16 pages document here does not impact all of my audience. My audience is basically from Asia, like India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bangladesh, and Africa, UK, and few more from Ukraine. So I'm trying to cover only those articles or the changes which is impacting my immediate audience. But if at all you want me to go through any of the details, you can always let me know in the comment section. So what I have done, I will provide the link in the video description so that you can read the details. So the first is the seasonal worker visa. So a lot of my audience from Nepal, they want to move to the UK on seasonal worker visa. So good news is, first of all, now poetry is also included as part of seasonal worker, which was not the case before. So if you identify yourself working in the poetry industry, you can come under seasonal worker visa. The good news is that initially the date was from 15th of November till 31st of December. Now they are giving another additional one month for people to come here. So you can read the full details from the UK Home Office website. Now, the second is about the Ukraine extension scheme. So if you're already in the UK and if your visa expired because initial visa was given for six months, you can still continue to stay in the UK and apply for the extension. And also they have introduced an application deadline for people. If you want to apply for visa where you get three years of visa, you can do till next year, 16th of November, 2023. Now, change number three was about granting visa for nationals from Colombia, Ghana and Peru. So at the moment, people from Colombia, Ghana and Peru, you require a visa like a tourist visa to visit UK or to work. Now, in the future, you will not require a tourist visa to travel UK. So this is scrapped now. 
Now chain number four. So this is about the uh, midwifery student. So for any student who come to the UK on a short course, uh, six months or less than that, you can come on a tourist visa. So for midwifery students, you can come here and you can undertake electives with a UK higher education provider, providing that these are unpaid and involve no treatment of patients. Uh, so make sure you take advantage of this. Now the change five, which was announced was regarding the global talent visa. So global talent visa is under visa category in the UK, where if you identify yourself under science, digital technology and arts, you can come and work here if you get a uh, endorsement. So this doesn't require a sponsorship, but it requires an endorsement from endorsing body. So there's small change here regarding the feedback and recommendation. So under the arts and culture and digital technology, they want more robust system where you can, the feedback can be provided direct from the people who had worked with you in the last 12 months. Now the change number six is about the youth mobility visa. They have not mentioned the details here, but India is the only country where they said they are going to announce and start the youth mobility visa from 1st of Jan 2022, which they have not done it. And I was expecting some details here, but the rumors are unless until the free trade agreement between India and UK signed, they may not start the UK youth mobility visa for Indians. Now, change number seven, which is about the creative worker route. So in one of my previous videos, I talked about the creative worker visa and I also talked about the only visa in the UK which allows a tourist visa to be converted into a UK work visa is a creative visa. Now, this will not be possible. So from 18th of October 2022, any tourist visa cannot be converted into a work visa, whether it's a permanent visa or a temporary visa. So that is completely stopped. Now, the last change is change number eight, which is under the global business mobility rules. So under this, there are lots of changes. So just a highlight here. So if you are a permanent resident of Australia and New Zealand, you can qualify under the service supplier route where the services they provide are covered by the free trade agreement with this country. So you can read the full details on the UK government website. So the next change is about the visa processing timeline. So today there was a tweet from Alex Ellis where he had told that we are on track to get back to the processing of visa applications within a standard 15 days. So they have not confirmed exact what date they are looking for, but looks like they are working on it in the background and this will be back on track very soon. And they have also mentioned the reason why they are trying to do that. You can see student numbers has gone by 89% since last year. Skill worker visa will be processed faster and focus on improving visitor visa processing times. So those were the updates. Now let's talk about few things which is bothering a lot of people here. So PSW is not closing at all. So guys, please do not worry. Do not panic. If you're already in the UK, if you have managed to complete your course, you will definitely get PSW. So it's not closing. So they're looking to reduce the number of student and student dependent visa, but they have not made a law that they are going to cut 10%, 20% or for Indians or Nigerians, they have not made a law. They are discussing at the moment, but once they announce it, we will definitely let you know in the future video. So please do not panic now as the changes are not yet done. Now let's talk about recession because still now I get questions from students and also people who had managed to get job directly from India, whether it's the right time to move to the UK or not. I will say yes, it's the right time because I still see there are plenty of jobs in the UK market. I have not seen the UK market is shrinking. At the moment, there's no impact at least. Looking at all the UK job sites, there are plenty of jobs available. So if you have the right skill set and if you have some experience, you will definitely find a job. The only difference that I see from last year versus this year is the cost of living has gone up. So say as an international student, if you were uh, spending thousand pound in a month, now you will be spending say 1300 in a month. So make sure you come prepared, bring some additional money or your savings or cash, which will be helpful for you to survive in the initial months if you don't manage to find a job. Otherwise, I would say this is still a good time for you guys to come to the UK and uh, there are plenty of jobs. So uh, do let me know if you guys got any questions and I'll aim to reply as soon as possible. Thanks for watching my video till the end and I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Till then, keep learning.